Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to show you guys how you can set up keyframe-based animations inside of the OpenShot Video Editor. So if you look really closely at my track 2 right now, you'll notice that there are some of these green ticks. Those would be considered to be keyframes, or in other words, uh, the starting or ending points between animations. So if you have basically a keyframe over here, where, for instance, the horizontal or left to right scale is set to 1.0, and over here, where the keyframe is set to have a X scale of um, about 0.3 or so, then what's going to happen is between those two points, it's going to animate over that duration. So if I play this back here, you would get something like that in your keyframe based animation. Of course, when you actually export, it would be a little less choppy. But how we actually start setting up those keyframe animations is to go up to the view menu, go to views, advanced view, and you're going to get this box called properties to pop open. So you can select any clip now, and you find the point where you want to set the first keyframe or the starting point for your animation, and you can select one of these different uh, properties in order to start marking the keyframe. So to mark a keyframe, we can do something like click on the property alpha, otherwise known as opacity, and set some value here. So if we set one, what you'll notice is that while we're still on that frame in the timeline, the property for alpha turns green. Green means that on that particular video frame, there is a keyframe set. Now we would need to choose another point for the second keyframe. So if we go over here and we, let's say, set the alpha to 0.5 or 50% alpha, you'll notice that by setting the value at that frame, it turns green, which means we have a second keyframe. So now what's going to happen is if I play the video from just before the first keyframe to the second keyframe, it's going to lower the alpha from 1.0 down to 0.5, or in other words, it's going to make your video 50% transparent. So let's go ahead and play that now, and you see how it animates over that duration. Now, of course, there are different options you can play around with here, such as position, rotation, scale, and the location of the video. So for any property that you want to be able to add a keyframe in, um, whenever you want to start tracking those keyframes as you set values, click on the property. So I'm going to click here on rotation, and now it's marked for keyframes. Then set a value for what you want that keyframe to be at that particular point. Go to a second point, set a new value, and you should get an animation between those two points. Uh, now to be sure on which ones you can actually add keyframes to, another alternative as well is to right click on that property. And if it can do keyframe based animation, you should get insert keyframe, remove keyframe, and these different curves which can control the speed at which those animations uh, fade in or fade out. Uh, by default it's linear, so it's linear means the same speed across the duration. Just to point out though, not every single property can be used with keyframe based animation, but a lot of them can. So if you ever have any doubt, just right click on it to see if you get insert keyframe and remove keyframe. Uh, but really that's all there is to it inside of OpenShot. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.